Hi. Okay, you have six minutes. Okay. Hi. My name is Moedin, and I'm the founder of Reminder. We are reinventing talent assessment by leveraging state-of-the-art deep learning. This was my primary class. I went from Mauritania to France to study engineering at their top universities. Where I grew up, and employment reached 30 percent. And I always dreamed about a solution able to understand the full potential of every person in the world. I was gifted in math from my young age, and I always saw recruiting as a complicated math problem waiting to be solved. Today, when you post a job offer on the internet, applicants pop up from all around the world. You have to deal with a variety of professional backgrounds and keep up with a rapidly changing job landscape. So imagine if you are receiving 600,000 applications per day, like one of our current clients. Doing sample, something as simple as a search to assess all these resumes will fail to reveal the full potential of a prospective candidate, because evaluation today are based on criteria such as well-known schools or well-known companies. They favor prestige over potential. And what's more, tools like search engines are not smart enough to translate diverse set of experiences and backgrounds, so they overlook the majority of high potential candidates while revealing false positives. But that changes today, introducing Reminder. Our unique deep learning technology is able to qualify every experience, project, education, or transition people can write down in their resumes. For example, in a traditional keyword system, you cannot, they, they are not able to make the relationship between a, a sous chef and a person working on events, for example. And our system is able to understand the different correlation, correlation even if they are hidden. And what also is amazing about our solution, we are able to assess both technical and non-technical jobs. We are able to scale to all languages. And finally, we can deal with all media formats, from PDF to images. So let's switch to a demo with Otman. Hi, everyone. This is a reminder. On the left-hand side, you have sources and jobs. Sources are different channels of candidates, and jobs correspond to your hiring needs. So let's create a source first. We support multiple types of integrations, but I would like to show you my favorite one, CVBot. It takes less than two minutes to set up. You just have to copy one single line of code to your web page. This is how CVBot looks like on your web page. It allows you to capture four times more candidates by tremendously simplifying the application experience. From now on, it takes a simple drop to send an application. It's a must-have. Every company here today should get one. Now that the applications are received, it's very simple to assess them. You just have to create a job title. Let's pick up a pre-made job title from our exhaustive list. Reminder automatically gives you insight about the market's best practices based on our analysis of millions of career paths. For example, it learned on its own in which companies you can find the best data scientists or where you can get the best education in data science. Reminder also learned the variety of career moves that can lead to a data science position, the skills that they learned, worked on, or should master to excel in this position, and even how they are distributed around the world. In the interest tabs, Reminder shows you the top interest for a data scientist, machine learning, hiking, and tennis. For an account manager, it will rather be traveling and golf. Now that the job title is created, I can, I can select different sources of profiles to assess them. Let's have a look on the last week's profiles. I can perform simple actions like go, standby, or no go to create a short list for my job title. And guess what? Reminder continuously learns from my actions. Here, Reminder suggests that this profile is also relevant for a data engineer position. Finally, I can assess the same pool of profiles for all my open positions. It allows me to fill my needs and make all kind of transversality possible. Back to presentation, please. So, how does it work? First, we use deep computer vision and natural language processing to extract each resume as a structured data profile. On the top of this data, we built two artificial intelligence layers. The first, it's a general layer based on the millions of career paths we analyzed. 
The second, it's a custom layer based on the internal data of the company. Analyzing career passes and not only the set of skills is not just a technical detail. It allows us to get a better picture of the candidate and be able to understand the different moves they can do. So where we are today as a company, we launched our beta one month ago with a dozen companies, and we already reached the milestone of processing 10,000 applications per week. What are our benefits? We allow our clients to identify three times more relevant talents in their initial pools and reduce by 80% the number of interviews they do before making a hiring decision. And as we want every recruiter in the world to concentrate on tasks that are emotionally intelligent, our pricing starts only at $99 and scales as you grow. Today, we are very excited to announce that Reminder is available. We are Reminder, and we reveal people's full potential. Thank you. All right, judges. Matt, you want to go first? So I'll jump in with the uh, inevitable question for AI. How did you train the algorithms? Where did you get all the data? And how do you continue getting data to continue training the algorithm? Actually, we, we began with public data, open source data, public profiles from the internet. Uh, we, we built a technology able to extract information even from uh, PDF images. So we, we, work, we have been training our algorithm of, on all kinds of data, even structured data. And we continuously train our algorithm based on the feedback that the recruiters are performing in our platform. How about internal data? About the, the because, int because you're matching, right? You, so how do you learn about the internal preferences? Actually, we, uh, in our website, you can specify your company, the name of your company, and we are able to look to employees who, that occupied, um, that you hired by the past, and we can automatically train them train our algorithm on this data. And in some cases, uh, some companies, uh, they don't have uh, uh, historical data. So we look to their competitors to try, and, to, try to uh, fit their specific needs. Um, so what, this might be a more philosophical question. I loved your story, your background story. That was fantastic. You know, and I was looking at your demo. And one of the things that struck me was, if you have a resume, which is, say, a top tier school with a computer science degree, a human being can spot that. So if you are training on existing data, I feel like you're going to be training on existing patterns. How would you find yourself? How would you find someone you know, uh, who's not from a conventional background or someone in the US who, who didn't like, maybe go to a top school? How do you find it? Because one of the worries I have is you train on all these public sources of data, and you're like top schools and top companies. How would you find someone who doesn't fit that pattern? Because human beings can find that pattern. And how do you find people who don't fit that pattern? Actually, this is a very, very good question. Um, for example, in, for a, a French recruiter, it would be very uh, difficult to hire someone uh, from a, a foreign country. So it's difficult to everyone to hire someone another. Is, everyone is discriminating other people from other countries. So by training on worldwide data, what we do is that we learn about 95% uh, of the ch futures that we want. It, and it's also a way to average all different biases of all the recruiters to concentrate on the, the real uh, features. And when we train over the historical data of the company, we are going to look only to the 5% of that last of the, the futures so we fit the specific needs of, uh, of the company. That's why it's very important to pre-train the algorithm on public data before tra retraining them on the data of the company. Um, oh, well, I have a couple questions. One, it's easy. Maybe you could do this for our founders, and you could make our job a little easier, predict who's going to be a good founder. Uh, but the second question, maybe a little more serious, which is, uh, have you thought, it's more on the business side, but have you thought about a glass door kind of model where I can go in and get career advice and you generate leads based on you telling me what I need to do, for example, to work at Google or whatever I want to work? Actually, I think people yes. want this. Yes, actually, when we, we, we started the company, we started like this. It okay. was a recommendation system that analyzed career paths of people, people to, to recommend for them job opportunities. And uh, we had... Um, we had a marketplace problem. That's why we, we decided to focus first on the recruiter side before uh, opening in the future the candidate side. Okay. 
Um, so one of the questions I had was on sources of data was, you keep, I think you say public data, but I worry that a lot of this data is actually locked up in people who could be competitors, right? LinkedIn, GitHub, uh, Stack Overflow, right? just off the top of my head, I'm sure there are a lot of others. So do you, and by the way, this is like a classic annoying question when somebody asks you like, what do you do when like an industry incumbent comes after you? But do you worry about the fact that your sources of data are locked up inside people of competing products or who might easily have competing products? Actually, it's, it's only a cold start problem. So first we began with the public available data and as, uh, for example, right now we are working with Ranchat. It's a company that received 80 million resumes. From these 80 million resumes, they select 2 million resumes and every day they are uh, placing six, 600,000 people. So we, we continuously base ourselves on the data that come from our client to uh, uh, to move forward. Spencer, you had a question. Right? Yeah, sure. Could you just talk a little bit about how many customers you have, you know, sort of the, how you're going to market selling the product? Um, actually, we did, um, uh, we, ha we had an, an open uh, version of the, uh, the platform that allows recruiter by the past just drag and drop resumes and assess them. There was about one, two thousand uh, recruiters that uh, signed up to, to, to the platform, and uh, right now we have been um, uh, we, ha we have been running a public beta, uh, a private beta, with only a dozen of companies with dif different sectors to figure out which sector will be sector will be more relevant uh, for for us. And the way we see our the business, it will be. Um, People will come based uh, with inbound marketing. We have uh, a blog uh, for, H for HR, and we plan to hire account manager to, so they can uh, move from uh, an account, uh, a model to another. All right, give it up one more time for a reminder.